Let's talk about the National Theatre School. Yes. You went to the National Theatre School, and then you were head of design at the National Theatre School. What do you look for from design students who are coming into that school? What do you expect them to bring with them? Well, it's a question that I ask myself every year while I worked at the school. When it came time in the spring, this time of the year, to uh, audition for a new class coming in in the fall. And um, it seemed to change from year to year, but uh, I would see a number of candidates here in Montreal. And then I used to go uh, to Toronto and see some people go out west, to, sometimes to Winnipeg, sometimes to Vancouver, sometimes to, do, uh, to three or four cities across the country. It's exhausting. But uh, I, we do, in the spring was the time. We used to March, February, into March, into April when we'd be doing that. And um, I was always looking for... First of all, I was looking for a class of about eight kids. Ideally, they'd be half francophones, half anglophones in the same class because the design section of the school is the only section that is co-lingual, if you like, uh, not bilingual to any stretch of the imagination because some of the Franco kids didn't speak any English and some of the Anglos didn't speak any French either. So uh, you'd have this, uh, but it was always one of the great aspects of the design section at the school was that these two linguistic groups could coexist in a class together right. and ultimately end up kind of respecting each other for their, for their dis distinctive qualities, each one, you know. So I was always looking for that kind of a balance of, of candidates that would make up what I thought would be that kind of a class. Now, sometimes it would be because a student brought in a portfolio that knocked us completely out. Didn't have to be of stage designs or anything. Could be drawing of any sort. You know what I mean? Maybe it was a, a, a someone who'd done an enormous number of life class life classes in his previous school wherever they went or whatever, and that were stunning, deeply felt drawings. You know that would be enough to convince, maybe uh, on some level. Uh, someone else would come from some other discipline. Maybe someone came from. Uh, we used to have the occasional person come from the, the fashion industry. So they would usually come in, apply to the school with a certain um, certain basis of uh, like technical knowledge about about cutting and uh, execution and stuff. So they would have a leg up possibly in that aspect of costume designing. And so it would, it would vary from student to student. 